Um, doc Dr. Tevi Benesan, can you please speak on how evidence has provided a basis for global action through the Immunization Agenda 2030? Merci, Charlie. Uh, je vais parler en français. Yeah. Merci pour la question. Alors, l'agenda de l'immunisation à l'horizon. Thank you so much for your question. Uh, the agenda is actually based on the uh, the cases that were created uh, in the past decade. The agenda actually is uh, trying to help us preserve our what we have learned, but also to expand what we have learned so that nobody's left behind whatever their stage of life. The uh, action plan for the past 10 years has allowed us to grow the visibility of vaccination and to strengthen political will at the highest level. The plan was also raising awareness on the importance of having quality data. However, we only managed to influence partially countries' actions as well as uh, the partner activities, which were not always uh, perfectly coordinated. Therefore, every year, 20 million babies do not receive a complete series of vaccination. Among them, more than 13 million do not receive any vaccination, and they are then in the category of uh, zero. Uh, doses or no doses at all. Uh, vaccines must be delivered ge geographically, uh, culturally and socially isolated areas um, and to migrants as well as to people affected by conflict. A collective effort, the Immunization Agenda 2030 envisions a world where every individual, wherever they are and whatever their age, fully benefits from vaccines for their health and well being. Immunization reaches more people than any other health or social service. It benefits individuals, communities, and countries. And it is an investment in the future by saving lives and protecting the health of populations, by improving the productivity and resilience of countries, and finally, by ensuring a safer, healthier, and more prosperous world. The 2030 Agenda was developed with a changing global environment in mind. I will give just a few examples. 70% des enfants non vaccinés vivaient dans des pays à revenus intermédiaires. En plus, l'urbanisation d'allopente pose des problèmes majeurs, créant de vastes communautés d'individus exposés au risque d'infection, population très marginalisée. Enfin, l'extension de la vaccination à tous les groupes d'âge offre des opportunités considérables mais nécessitera des changements majeurs dans les programmes de vaccination. Alors, ce qui change dans l'agenda à l'horizon 2030 par rapport au plan euh, euh, d'action de la décennie passée, l'agenda 2030 a été lancé fin avril 2021. This was launched at the end of April 2021. What changes is the adaptability and flexibility to the needs of the community served, uh, the targeting strategies to reduce inequities, including gender-related barriers, strengthen collaboration with primary healthcare as a foundation for, high, for achieving high immunization coverage and universal health coverage. Lately, a greater emphasis on partnerships to integrate and collaborate with stakeholders inside and outside of the health sector. This strengthened collaboration will have mutual benefits, extending the benefits of immunization while helping others to achieve their goals. We at the World Health Organization are increasingly working with the, uh, the colleagues at WASH for both diphoid and cholera. We have also published a guide for integrating activities and also a guide for missed immunization opportunities. Charlie, thank you so much. Thank you.